You know, this is Roger, once again, Mud Fossil University. Somebody told me there's very few actual coincidences. Now, I carved this long ago. <laughs> and I think it looks pretty damn near what a dragon looks like. Had wings, of course, some of the wings broke off. This was made out of a 2x4. That's a ball and cage. Just I did this, you know, just for kicks. But this was long ago, and all of a sudden I see this. And this is the dragon. He clearly is a hero in Chinese mythology, most powerful and divine creature, controller of the water. Dragons were symbolized with the symbol of the emperor, bringing luck and good fortune. It is said that the legendary Yellow Emperor turned into a dragon and flew to heaven when he died. And this is the Yellow Emperor. So, it would be interesting to take a look into this, uh, and I am. And this is one of the earliest, earliest times in history. 2696 B.C. All right, 2698 BC, somewhere in that area. Now, to my feeling, that is before the Great Flood. The Great Flood, I think, is uh, 4300 BC. So, if this is correct, this is before the Great Flood. Well, I, I'd like to know what happened during, you know, if this is true, this changes a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'd like to look into this if, if, if these dates fall correctly and I uh, I don't know what they do or not I have no idea so anyway um, dragons history the Chinese yellow emperor was a dragon flew off when he died should look into it a lot to this okay a, a minute ago or a few minutes ago I said that the it was um, 4300 BC I thought was when the Great Flood happened, 2300 BC, approximately 4300 years ago. All right. So, 4300 years ago, this guy was around 4600 years ago. So, that's prior to the Great Flood. So, that's my feeling. And then he could have come down and started building with all of the bodies of the creatures after the Great Flood. As far as I can tell, I, I, I would think that. That's a possibility. Um, as he if came back or something or, or sent people back down after the Great Flood and he was the dragon that had some influence over it, I have no idea. i got to be honest with you, this is really throwing a wrench into the works here. Because if this guy was here before the Great Flood, he would have known about the Great Flood. And they, the Sumerians did, they say. So, was he a Sumerian? Was he depicted this way? I have no clue. These Apparently this is the text they found on some some monument or something they found and, and it says um, uh, Chinese mythology, the Yellow Emperor, one of the mythical five sovereigns, the inscription reads, now I guess the inscription on this thing is authentic, I don't know if it is or not, but it says, the Yellow Emperor created and changed a great many things, he invented weapons, all right, we always hear about that, he divided the fields, he devised upper and lower garments, so he created um, agriculture and wells, they said. There's other places they talk about up here, wells and field system, devised upper and lower garments, established palaces and houses. Um, that sounds like you started agriculture, culture, civilization, humanity, basically, as we know it. At that time. Now, that was before the Great Flood, though. Very, very hard for me to understand this, to be perfectly honest with you. So, uh, I don't know what to say other than we have to keep looking at it. And there's so much of this old stuff. You ever see this? The Codex Gigas? Codex Gigas? Oh, my. That thing weighs 175 pounds. <laughs> it's the biggest manuscript in history. It shows the devil right on this page. Supposedly a monk that was going to be walled up and... and, and and die sold his his soul to the devil and the devil helped him make this book and the thing is gigantic huge 
That's what it's called. It. Codex Gigas, the big book. All right, Mufasa University, devils, big books, they're everywhere. Dragons. <laughs> Just what it was. It appears that there was 200 dragons thrown to earth. 200 fallen angels. It says he threw them to earth. And they were all dragons because Satan was a dragon. And he said, let us make them in our image. So there was our image. There's like dragons were dragons, I guess. There's 200 of them hit the ground here, as far as I can tell. And they are everywhere, so I have no reason to discount that. So, that's the way it works. Thank you. Now, this is the other thing that's bothering me. If they were made, if we were made in their image, and I assume that there means all of the angels, and all of the angels, I assume were similar, and Satan was an angel, and he was a dragon. All right, so well, what were the other ones? Were the other ones humans, and he was a dragon? I, I don't know. I can't, I can't put my finger on that one. Let us make them in our image. Our, meaning multiple. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Now, it, it, we may have been this, and, tra and, and changed. To have skin, normal skin somehow, after the flood. Maybe this was pre-flood facial characteristics and skin types. I have no clue at this point. I'm very, very, very confused, to be perfectly honest. There's a lot of things that don't make sense. A lot of things don't add up that I thought sort of fit together the pieces and now the pieces like uh, Jenga <laughs> I'm in trouble with this I can't find a couple of spots to put a couple of these pieces so still working on the pieces but um, I know they could shape shift I know they could all of them could Zeus and all of the all of the original characters could could shape shift so would they origi originally be like have one specific style or they were they just light beings that could decide what they wanted to be at any particular time and at the end of this time they wanted to have scales on them to try to protect them I have no idea I'm starting to really roll a lot of things in my mind because things just 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 are so strange I'm telling you you know about that everybody knows about the dragon so that's not a question Anyway, I'm not going to bother with that.